Linda. What? Shirley's talking to you. Well, Are you having know. another drink? Oh, yeah. Well, that lets the bad news out, Ada. No. Well, it takes like it were union business. Well, you're very quiet this dinner. Oh, all right. Are you sure you're all right with these light ales, love? I've just not had time to get any lagers up from the cellar. Don't worry yourself. Why don't you get gorgeous Gloria over there to pick up a couple of crates? I don't think she could even find a cellar, love. <laughs> she doesn't seem to do much of anything, does she? Except uh, chat the fellas up. Gloria, have you got a minute? Yeah. Have you finished this order off for me and there's still two shandies to come? Bottles. No, made up, which means you'll have to pull this handle. Don't strain yourself. She wants some food as well. There she is, every fella's dream. A sexy woman as runs a pub. Yes, we will have them free drinks now. There'll be free drinks on my first anniversary when I see if I'm making a do or not, which at this rate is very doubtful. Well, young Gloria should help you do that, shouldn't she? About time we had a bit of decent talent behind this bar. It was getting a very dull image, you know. You're only joking, aren't you, Dad? No. What did I do? You nearly got yourself banned in her first hour. Will somebody come and get these drinks? Oh, all right. There is something bothering you, isn't there, Ida? Nah, I've been waiting to have a chance with you about that letter. Well, what about it? Well, it says Henry Wakefield's a scab. It says who says? Well, it's not signed. It just says that he worked all them months at Addison's Foundry were on strike. Hey, uh, we only had meat and potato pies, Ivy, so I've ordered you a cheese sandwich, OK? Right. Is there? Well, I say we should ignore a damn letter. I mean, it's a poison pen letter, isn't it? And I say we should ask him if it's true or not. It's a serious accusation, that, Ivy. Hey, hello. You two are back early, are you? You must be happy in your work. Henry, I had this before dinner. This letter. Is what it says true, Henry? Henry? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but there's probably more to it than what it says in there. I mean, you probably had a good reason. Like it says. I worked, Ivy. For what reason could there be? Hey, hello. Oh, by the way, how did you go on last night? Go on? Yeah, didn't I see you leaving the Rovers arm in arm with Mr. Sugden? Don't talk to me about that. Why? He didn't misbehave himself, did he, the cad? No, worse luck. He got me to the bottom of our street, and he said you can manage on your own now from here, and he shoots off like a rabbit with a ferret after it. And the least I expected was a stroll round Red Wreck. It was a lovely moonlight night. Oh, you'll have to change your perfume. I'll have to change somewhat <laughs> to that, love. Hey, you can always get yourself a ticket to this dance he's running. Don't worry. I'm working on that one. Oh. What dance is this? Oh, it's just a local op over the road, you know, community centre. Mm. Just the place to meet people. Everybody yeah. who is anybody will be there, including Alf. He's a right gigolo on the quiet, Alf, you know. Oh, I'd go like a shot, but Harry's not keen on dancing, are you? Oh, I'd have thought you'd have been a right twinkle toes. The merry milkman singing on his round, doing the odd mm. fish tail down the garden path. The trouble is, my feet are toned up. <laughs> when he gets on a dance floor, everybody else leaves it. Mm, like I wish I'd never mentioned dance. Mm. I've got a lot of other talents, aren't I, love? No. Come on, <laughs> let's get you back in that bedroom. Oh, Alf, cover your ears up. He's decorating it. He's only come shopping with me so he can get out of it. I can't stand wallpaper with flowers on it. No, I can't either. Give me a nice muddy brown. Don't show up muck either. Exactly. Yeah, they've got no idea, fellas, have they, about colour and design and that. Philistine. Exactly the word I was looking for. Come on, you. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye, love. See Come you. Come on. A nice couple, aren't they? I the same, it, yeah. He seems like he could be a bit impact, you know. No, I don't think so. Al. Yeah? You've asked Rita to this dance, haven't you? Yes, I've asked her. And? She's coming. You crafty so-and-so, Alf Roberts. You never said a word. Well, I can get my leg pulled like Percy. Well, I'm very sorry to hear it's been worse than you thought it would be. How about your own? I'd help you out myself, you know, only... Well, I'm that busy these days, what with all my jobs and uh, looking after Henry. I don't know how you cope. Oh, it's all a matter of organisation, really. I suppose it's a gift I've got. Probably. I'd have been all right if Gloria had done a share. She's done nothing all dinner time. She's neither used nor ornament. I wouldn't say that. 
She's very ornamental. Don't start that again. Hey, isn't that what you really don't like about her? She's uh, competition. Well, two light bulbs can't share the same socket, and that's a fact. But she's not up to the job. That's the main thing. Well, fire her then. That's part of your job now, isn't it? Ask her to come in on your way out, will you? Are you sure? Ask her to come in. Hilda says you want to see me. How long have you been in the trade, Gloria? How long have you worked behind the bar? Off and on. Why? You've not learned a lot, have you? Oh, I think I've learned an awful lot. You should have seen me when I first started. Were you working when Frank took you on? No, not really. Look, Gloria, I don't want to insult you or anything. But uh, all you've done this dinner time is loll about like a fox fur. Me? You've hardly pulled your weight at all. Well, I'm sorry you think so. I thought it never stopped. Chatting up the men, yeah. Well, it's part of the job, isn't it? I mean, personality, being friendly. I mean, that's why I think you and me are such a great team. We are? Yeah, well, you're the practical, experienced one, and I supply the, well, the charm. You make it sound like Beauty and the Beast. Still, if you're not satisfied with me work... I'm not. Well, I don't know why not, Bet. I mean, I can pull a glass of beer. I'm not bad at adding up. You're lousy at adding up. I saw you using all your fingers to add two fives. Yeah, well, I've been used to modern tills, you know, that add up for you. You could always go and find another one. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of doing that. What? Leave you in the lurch to run this place on your own? No, I'll stop. And put up with the inconveniences. Thanks very much. It's all right. See you later. Hang on. Oh, now, it might be a bit later than later, you know, cos I'm having my hair done at six, and you know Roy at Studio 12? He loves working on my hair, so he's not always to an hour, you know. OK, bye. Gloria! Oh, thank God for that. I'm not used to working at full pelt all day, you know. I, I only hope it's worth it. Just think of all the bonuses you'll be getting. You'll be able to go to Benidorm for your holidays and have a different link bikini every day. <laughs> hey, there is that kid. <laughs> Hey, Adrian, I hope you're getting a good deal out of Baldwin for these flying suits. Mm -hmm. You want to skin all money back for everything you can? Hey, we're, we're in, in the money. We're in the money. Ida? You got a minute? Uh, have you decided what you're going to do about us? You know my attitude to that, Ivy. I don't fancy working with anybody that did what he did. He crossed that picket line every day for months. They must have done picket lines. If some folk had the way, it'd be like blooming Berlin Wall with machine guns on top. Anyway. I've decided to ask Branch for advice before I do anything. You could still just tear that letter up. Last thing we want is trouble, isn't it? Just when things are perking up. Sorry, Ivy. I'm taking it to Branch. Yeah, Haven't you seen enough of those for one day? Mm, I'm still not sure I've got these pockets right. Well, sleep on it. It's time we weren't here. I thought you were a workaholic. I am, but I know when to stop. And anyway, if we go now, it's time to buy you a drink before you turn into a housewife. David, what are you doing here? Thought I'd see where you keep running off to. Taking your breath away, is it, my empire? I'm uh, Mike Baldwin, by the way. Oh, sorry, this is David, my husband. How do you do? How do you do? It's um, smaller than I expected. Yeah, but we think it's big. Hey, Chris? Yeah. We're just going uh, for a drink, you know, uh, after a hard day's work, pub across the road. Oh, I think David would rather go home, wouldn't you, David? No, no, I'd, I'd love a drink. After you, then. that you, Henry? Henry? Oh, it is you. <laughs> I thought we got burglars. <laughs> now, uh, you sit down and have a little relax. I've got you the evening paper. Thanks. I've done you a nice lamb chop for your tea. Is that all right? It's fine. And I've done some mash with it. Is everything all right? Only you look a bit down. They know at work about what happened at Addison's. How? Anonymous letter. Anonymous letter? Well, what's a rotten thing to do? Will that cause trouble for you? Depends. 
If they decide it's any of the business, the women, they could ask for me to be fired. Insist on it. Oh, Henry. And you've only just started. Like an albatross hanging round my neck, Addison's. Is it your first anniversary yet? No. How's it going so far, then? All this power gone to your head, has it? What flaming power? I couldn't even manage to fire Gloria. Who do you want to do that for? Look, I know you think she's a walking cream bum, but she's useless. There's no room here for any sleeping partners. There's too much work, especially cellar work. You're a muscle man, don't you? Yeah. Do you know anybody? Me. You? Well, I can give you a lift any time, can't I? I'm very fluid on my window round. Well, I'm probably balmy, but I'm definitely desperate. You're on. Isn't even staff on for you? Here. So you're a chartered accountant, eh? That's right. <laughs> you must hear more tall stories than a golf club steward. I get my share, yeah. Here, you can't arrange my affairs so the tax man pays me, can you? No. Nah, that's what my accountant says. Don't know why I employ him. Still, I'm not complaining. Not after our trip to London, eh, Chris? You know, I've got the feeling this is a start of something big, so let's have another drink, eh? No, my Now, come on, only one. I'm in the mood. Uh, Our trip to London. You told me you went on your own. I didn't say that. Well, you definitely didn't say he was going to. I don't see what did You lied. Why? OK, I suppose I should have mentioned it. Where are you going? Come on. I said, come on. Unless you want a bloody row here. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll explain tomorrow. Have they walked out on you? Looks like it, yeah. What about these whiskies? Well, we'll have to drink them ourselves, won't we? Right. I could help as well. Go on then, give him one. Cheers. <laughs> 